This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News. WFAA.com reports police are looking for the motorist who struck and killed a five-year-old girl in Fort Worth Sunday afternoon. A second child was taken to a hospital with serious injuries after a vehicle drove up on the sidewalk at James Avenue and Southcrest Drive near Greenbrier Park. A third person was also said to have been injured in the 2.21 p.m. incident. WFAA.com reports a man was dead and two women were wounded in a shootout outside the Winewood Restaurant in Grapevine Saturday night. The victims were found in a parking lot shortly before 10 p.m. The dead man was identified by the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office as 57-year-old Donald Walls of Grapevine, who died at the scene. His death was ruled a suicide. Two wounded women were taken to area hospitals for treatment. KVUE.com reports with the cartel war raging along the border, elected Mexican officials charged with drug trafficking, gun running, and extortion may come as no surprise. But now, that corruption seems to be bleeding over to the U.S. side. In one of the latest public corruption scandals, El Paso County Commissioner Willie Gandara, Jr., nicknamed the Godfather, in a federal indictment faces drug trafficking charges in the small Texas border town of Socorro, just west of El Paso. State police raided the city hall at Sunland Park, New Mexico this past weekend. The mayor pro tem and city manager charged with extortion. They allegedly used video of a mayoral candidate with a stripper to try and force him to drop out of the race before Tuesday's election. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD, Texas News.